Bring you here, Lloyd. Can I help you with something? I'm always out of question, but would Maining happen to be home? I could have sworn she just got back, but maybe she already ran off again? Sorry, Lloyd, you might have better look asking Paula. Oh, all right then. Hello, Miss Paula. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting visitors on a rainy day like this. Sorry about that. There's something we'd like to ask you about. You happen to recognize this? Lloyd show Mailing's umbrella to Paula. I most certainly do. That's our little Mailing's umbrella, isn't it? Are you here to return it? But that's strange. I don't believe she was missing her umbrella when she came home from the bakery. Well, about that. Lloyd explained the umbrella swap and how they were looking for Momo's umbrella. Oh dear. So that's what this is all about. No poor little Momo is okay. Would you happen to know where your granddaughter is right now, Mom? She doesn't seem to be here. She and her brother Roy are out for a walk right now, meaning she has Momo's umbrella with her. Come to think of it, but to ask where they were going, I'm terribly sorry about all this. Sounds like we just missed her. They couldn't have gone very far in this rain. If they're not on East Street, then Central Square, the Downtown District, and the Harbour District are the likely candidates. Yes, that sounds most likely. Keep an eye out for the pink umbrella, or Roy's green one. Pink and green. Good tastes. Spotting them will be easy. Alright, let's begin our search. Thank you for all your help, Miss Parler. Not at all, dear. You're always welcome to visit. It makes it sound like they're going to be outside, then. Just, I doubt it's downtown. I, I don't think they go for a walk downtown. So, we want pink, obviously. And green. And I don't think they'll be inside because it, it's pointing out that they've got their umbrellas out, so they'll be outside. Otherwise, how would we spot them really? Hello. Where are you, Mei Ling? Excuse me, but would you happen to be Roy? Yeah, that's me. Can I help you? We're with the Crossbell Police Special Support Section. Lloyd explained the umbrella swap and how they were looking for Momo's umbrella. I had no idea. Mailing must have taken it by mistake and not realized because of how similar they look. Sorry about that. Guess we should make the exchange as soon as we can. On that note, where is Mailing right now? Were the two of you taking a walk together? We were, but she kind of forced me into a game of hide and seek with her. Told her it was a bad idea to do it in the rain, but she wouldn't take no for an answer and uh... She's clearly a lot better at this than I am. Clearly. Clearly. <laughs> if that's the case, how about we give you a hand at finding her? For real? That'd be awesome. I don't think she'd leave the Harbour District. Doubt she went into any buildings either. In case she's out and about them. Hate to say, but this might not be so easy, even with all of us. I'm up for a challenge. <laughs> Let the hunt begin. Hey guys, uh, still no luck finding Mei Ling. If we can't find her, I could try yelling and uh, that I give up at the top of my lungs. That could work. What do you say? Should we take the easy way out? Keep looking. No, no, no. No, not yet. We'll keep looking. Suit yourself. Good luck, guys. Give you a hand, but I'd probably just slow you down. Don't want this taking until after the sun sets, you know? Alright, let's not turbo at this point so I can keep my eyes out. We're looking for a pink umbrella. Not like behind the boxes or anything. And maybe she's inside the chest. No, 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 no. I mean, it's right there. <laughs> What do we have here? <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, you found me. Wait, you're not my big brother. Who are you? Professional mailing finders. Well put, I'll go get Roy. Wazzy called Roy over to mailing's hiding spot. Roy then told mailing about the umbrella mixer. And that's why we were looking for you. Oh, I get it. I made a tech umbrella. How about it, Mailing? 
Let's return it and make sure it gets back to the rightful owner. Okay. Edgar. Alrighty, let's trade. Meiling took the correct umbrella and gave Momo's back. Thanks, Meiling. Uh-huh. Some dare I say sorry to Momo myself. <laughs> well, aren't you the mature one? <laughs> yeah, she can get like that. If I was more like Meiling, I'd probably be working a second job, or a first one for that matter. Anyway, thanks for the help, you two. Be sure to return Memo's umbrella. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Hey, Lloyd, did it go well? Mission complete. There you go, Momo. This is my umbrella. The one my dad bought me. Thank, thank you for my heroes. There'll be legends of written about you. The legends of heroes. You're welcome. We're glad we could help. Mm-hmm. Case closed, then. Thanks for all your help. You guys are the best. I'll put in another request the next time we need you. Anytime. We'll always be here to help. Catch you later, Oscar. Oh, isn't that lovely? Here you are. Make sure this gets to your dad, okay? What? Is something wrong? Um... My fault that the bread you baked uh, is already cold. <laughs> hey, hey, don't start that again. I'll make you a new one, so don't don't cry. <laughs> You're so nice, Miss Bennett. Cheers. Thanks for the help, gang. I knew I could count on you. So you found Bemo's umbrella. That's a relief. Anyway, I think I'll stock up on bread and head home. Alright, so, something I wanted to do, because I was spotting it while we're over there, is actually, strangely, do a bit of fishing. A bit. Just a bit. From here. This has been my go-to spot all year. Hope the fish aren't beginning to harbor a grudge. Have some dumplings. <sighs> Nothing, all right. I suppose it is raining, isn't it? How dare you! You're under arrest, fish. Yeah. But of course. Ooh, material. Yeah, that's good. But of course. Right, so, it's the IBC, um, our next one, isn't it? So, beta testers needed. Chief Roberts. We will soon be offering a puzzle game, pom pom party, on orbital terminals throughout the city. Accordingly, I want to request a final test. Uh, since the special support section has been taking care of Tio, I'd like you to all participate. I've informed IBC's receptionist, Lan Fei, so please ask for me at the desk. I look forward to seeing you. Oh, alright then. Now, wasn't this the game I... Hello? The game I wanted to play, um... In Tokyo Xanadu, and I couldn't. Mr. Croy... Uh, excuse me, Mayor Croy has arrived at the building moments ago. Now that he's mayor, his permanent office is at the new city hall building, but he still comes here for IBC work from time to time. I have to hand it to him. It must be very difficult to wear two different hats like that. To just have one. Like with a seam down the down the middle. Like one half is like mayor and the other is IBC CEO, you know, then you don't need two hats then. Just one. God. Not only that, but he's doing both jobs so well. What an admirable man. Here we are. Let's head to the counter and ask about Chief Robert's request. We should be able to hear the details by speaking with Lan Fei. Well, look who it is. Now look who it is. Yeah, Croy. And Maria Bell, too. Are you working at the IBC today? That's right. 
I had a bit of bank work piling up that I couldn't put off any longer. Thankfully, Belle was here for me to lean on. We knocked it out in no time. It feels like ages since I've seen you all. How have you been, Ellie? I've been well. Fortunately, the SSS resumed activities yesterday. Hmm, let me have a good look at you. Whoa. Wait, Belle! Hmm, you're in tip-top shape. So soft, so warm, supple yet muscular. Oh, I could just eat you up. Enough, you're going to give everyone the wrong idea, Belle. By the way, Lloyd... You haven't tried anything inappropriate with my dear sweet Ellie, have you? N no? What's that supposed to mean? You're a dangerous man, Lloyd Bannings. Don't think for a second that I'll be taking my eyes off you. You know what'll happen if I find out Ellie's innocence has been defiled? Don't you? Um... Someone just had their death flag raised. Belle, please. Come now, Belle. We haven't seen them in so long. Take it easy on the poor chap. It is so good to see you again, ladies and gentlemen, the special support section. Before all, I'm glad to see Noelle and Wazzy are fitting right in as the new members. Allow me to take the opportunity to congratulate the SSS on officially returning to active duty. That's very kind of you to say. I should thank you again for the letter of recommendation as well. It's nice to finally meet you. And thank you very much for our horrible car. Driving here is a dream come true. I'm <laughs> glad to hear it. I hope it helps you all in your work. Moments like these make becoming the new mayor all worth it. It's rather stressful to balance time between being a mayor and being the CEO of the IBC. I had to get these two hats. Like, again, no, you just buy one and cut it in half. You're the one who chose to run for mayor, Father. I keep telling you to let me help more. Sorry, Belle. I'm too worried about Crossbell's future to sit back, relax, and let someone else do all the heavy lifting. I don't deny I sometimes bite off more than I can chew, but I like to think that I have a tendency to go above and beyond. Yeah, which is what worries me. Grandfather has always admired that about you, Uncle. I heard him saying things like Crossbell is in dire need of more politicians that have his youth and vigor. <laughs> it's high praise coming from someone so as seasoned as Speaker McDowell. Or I'm still only a novice in the political arena. There's much for me to learn, especially from someone like him. Arthur, it's about time for your meeting at City Hall. Oh, I nearly forgot. Please excuse us, ladies and gentlemen. You know how it is, duty calls. No problem. Sorry for stopping you like this when you're so busy. No, no, not at all. It was good to catch up with all of you. If you ever run into trouble at work, don't forget you can come to me directly. As far as the SSS is concerned, I'll always do everything in my power to help. We appreciate it. Please take care, you two. Anything for you, Ellie? Bye for now, my little SSS. Until next time! Why was he holding two hats? They seem as busy as ever. Imagine their attention is on the trade conference at the end of the month. Yes! At this point, I'd suspect that their schedules are planned out to the minute. Mobile car aside, they do seem to have our bags. Yeah, the SSS is in their debt. I hope they're finding time for themselves, too. Anyway, let's remember why we came here. Chief Roberts' request is waiting for us. Lloyd, let's go to the reception desk. Do -do 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 -do. Good day, Lanfei. Hello again, Miss McDowell, special support section. What brings you here today? We were requested by Chief Roberts of the Epstein Foundation. I see, I can certainly help you there. Please wait just a moment, this shouldn't take long. Hey guys! Good to see you again, Chief Roberts. You hear about my request, right? This is a huge help, but I really wanted you to be the ones to see this! Sounded like it could be fun. The request said something about the final test for a new product? I believe its name was Pom Party or something like that? I feel like I've heard that name before. Yeah. 
was that the name of? <laughs> you guys are gonna get kicked out of this one. So, can you get started right away? Yeah, we're good to go. Would you mind giving us more details on what we'll be doing? I'd love to. The long and short of it is that we plan to release a fun little orbital game called Pom Pom Party. It's a game that orbital terminal owners can play with one another via the orbital network. An orbital game? It is different from a game like billiards or poker. Well, it's similar in that you can win or lose, and there are rules to be followed. However, there's one major difference. This is a game that you can play on the orbital terminal screen. Really? Oh, orbital technology really can do anything. So, that would mean the test you wrote about would be having us... Exactly! I want you to play test Pom Party! Errors often occur during the development cycle, so book testing is critical. If this is such an important step, why don't I have someone from the Foundation take care of it? Good question. Tia would normally be the one testing this. There's one problem with that, though. Actually, there are two problems, to be more specific. And they've led me to seek help outside the Foundation. What are the two problems? Glad you asked. First, Tio sometimes activates her Aeon system while playing the game, and not always consciously. If she did that while testing, the data we'd get back wouldn't be very useful. Aeon system? I believe it has something to do with the gear that Tia wears for work. I've heard her give a brief explanation before. If I remember right. It's what she uses while operating orbital terminals in her orbital staff. At least I think, anyway. I suppose this is a good opportunity to explain things from the top. The AM system is the name of the program built into Tio's chest protector. It spores low latency activation of arts from the orbital staff and even boosts high speed data processing abilities. Think of those as two primary functions of the Aeon system. I'm trying to remember which way Aeon system isn't it for this one. It also takes incredible aptitude to master such a complicated system. Right, I can imagine. I realized he was managing something so complicated. It's also tough to praise these kinds of subjects without her here. It's so special at processing data or whatever, how exactly does it screw up the testing? Yeah, about that. Tio uses the Eon Aeon system. She can perform chains that no average player could. She tends to wipe the floor with whoever she's playing. Jonah is the usual victim. He's never won once. Ah, but I'm not saying Tio is, is cheating her or anything. But please don't tell her I said that. Sure. That's one reason. What's the other? Good question. The other is because this is what we call a multiplayer game. Like I said before, it's designed for users to play across the orbital net. Our developers think it would be best to start with a practical test within the city. I think I understand what you're getting at. Still, even if it's not that far away, playing the same game with someone in a different part of the city sounds amazing. <laughs> Isn't it? Believe it or not, games like this have been in the works since the early days of the Orbital Network project. Once the net becomes more widespread, even more people will be able to enjoy the game. For example, you could play with your friends on a rainy day like this without ever leaving your home. Games on the Orbital Network? What a time to be alive. May have rambled a bit there, but I think that's the gist of it. Alright, time for a present from me to you. From you to me. Is this a memory quartz? Sure is, the memory quartz has Pom Potty's application data stored onto it. If you install it on the terminal at the SSS building, you can play right away. It's stored it. In other words, it should put the program data onto our terminal, right? I've seen Tio do it once, so I think I can manage. Perfect. We'll let you handle that, Ellie. You're already ahead of the curve. Very encouraging. Should give you these two. My Enigma number and Pom Potty account info. Account? Why are the only ones starting to get a little overwhelmed? Basically, it's like a name you use on the Orbital Network. It's sort of required to play the game. You don't have to think about it too much beyond that. So don't worry for now. Just add my account name and after you've installed the Pom Party Beta. After that, call me and I'll tell you what to do next. That's all? Think you can handle it? I think so. Uh, we'll manage. Got all that, guys. Let's head back to the SSS building and get started. Lead the way.
head back to the SSS building and try installing Pom Potty on the terminal there. After that, give me a ring on your Enigma. Got it. Talk to you soon, Chief Roberts. Hey, I've been wondering. Is it really alright to install a game on a police terminal? That's a good point. Especially coming from you, Wazzy. Do you think we should ask Chief Sergei for permission? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I already got the department's approval when I set up the support request. I told them the beta test was good for the growth of the orbital network, and they agreed, no problem. Oh. Is that the truth, or did he manage to pull one over on the CPD? You have to be cunning to be the man in charge of the Crossbell's orbital network. Mm. And the car is gone. Right, so... SSS building. Zeit. Good wolf. Even Zeit looks bored on rainy days. We don't mind watching over the building to pass the time. Woof. Remember the SSS's top priority is responding to the citizens' request and putting an emphasis on their safety. Zhao and Lecter fought outside of that. For now, leave investigating them to the First Division. You kids have other duties to attend to. Understood, Chief. We'll go play a game. Let's go check on Kia, though. Because I knew I'd be coming back here, so it's like I saved these guys for now, so. Hmm, I'm pretty sure I have a plush that'd make Kia happy. I think I'll give it to her as a gift. Lloyd found Kia and gave her the plush as a gift. <laughs> You're very welcome. Creepy. A new decoration was added to Kia's room. When Lloyd finds decorations, he can give them to each of the members to display in their rooms. Look at it. It's an odd cushion. Yep. Oh, you guys going out? Yeah, do you have any homework here? Yep, I'm doing it earlier than usual since I can't go out to play. To be honest, I really wanted to ride in the car. Oh, now I'm starting to feel bad. Next time we're all free on a sunny day, we should go out for a drive. Okay, looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for a clear day. Okay, it's time to cruise through my homework. Right, let's check the other rooms. We may have stuff we can... Hmm, does this look alright? That was it. It's a stylish mirror. <laughs> Copy is not here. It'll be because of the rain. Of course, of course, of course. This looks good. It's a comfy chair. Does look quite comfy, doesn't it, Does Nothing for Chief Sergei. No, 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 no. According to Chief Roberts, all we have to do is install this memory quartz into the terminal, right? Would you do the honors, Ellie? I'd be glad to. Ellie installed the beta version of Pom Pom Party on the terminal. That should do it. Also filled in the account information Chief Roberts gave us. Well, aren't you skilled? It's like there's nothing Ellie can't do. He's even well versed in law and politics. To be fair, I only knew what to do because I saw Tio work on the terminal before. I also read through the instruction manual. Everything seemed easy enough to pass. Still, we really appreciate it. And just learned how to use the terminal's keyboard. You're very welcome. Should we contact Chief Roberts now? Yeah, let's do that. Hey, Lloyd. I take it the installation went well. Yeah, everything turned out, turned out okay. Uh, what do we do next? Great, want to give it a shot and have a match with me? Try booting up Pom Party from your terminal. My account name should be on display. You can all play with me if you select it. Oh, and while we're at it, why don't you be the one to challenge me, Mr. Special Support Section Leader? Uh, sure, why not? The controls are all yours, Lloyd. <laughs> Think you can beat me at my own game? Are you a man I can entrust my little Tio to? I'll be the judge of that, Lloyd Bannings. Well, his intentions are about as transparent as glass. 
Overprotective dad versus overprotective dad. The match of the century. Don't tell me this is why you requested the SSS in the first place. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. It's a fun little match, but I thought I'd spice things up for the sake of it. Okay, let the game begin. Pom 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 party. At long last. Pom pom party is a puzzle game where you control poms falling from above and fit them together as they land below. So Tetris. The four different colored poms and a shining pom make five types. Use the X and circle buttons to flip the poms as they fall. Poms will stack up from the bottom. Connect three matching poms together, excluding shining poms, to pop them. You'll receive one CP for each pom popped. You can earn bonus CP based on timing. Shining poms will disappear when the pom next to them disappear, regardless of color. You'll get 100 CP for each shining pom you pop. Hmm. When your CP rises above 100, press square, L1, or R1 to make an S-Craft. The higher your CP, the more effective your S-Craft will be. If the bombs in the center rise to the top, it's game over. Alright. Okay, so... Greens. So there's blues near there as well. Hi, hi, hi. Ooh, that was nice. Get those greens there. Reds on top of them. But get that yellow there, there's loads of reds down there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a pro at this already! Look at this! Destroying it! There, reds! Boom! How's the greens gone? How's the reds gone? I'll set up lovely for a blue! Like, bam! This is lovely, I need that line on the left. Up there, sorted though. Really. Let's get that in there, because that unleash quite a bit. Green, really. So that's gonna be an issue. Let's do whatever that is. What does that do? Ooh! Aw, but I... I was having fun! Yeah, I managed to win! That was actually pretty fun. Hmm, you looked like you were into it. Um, this is only my impression from watching you guys play, but uh... Is it just me or is Chief Roberts kind of bad at it? Considering he developed the game and is on the same level as a total beginner, I'd say he's pretty pathetic. Well, he was probably going easy on me. Right? Said to himself, it wouldn't be much of a test if two players weren't similarly skilled. Yes, special support sex. Wow, what a match. Uh, they'll be talking about this one for ages, my heart's still racing. Well, I guess that theory. Uh, so, how were the test results? Absolutely perfect. The connection within the city had no lag and the signal was stable. I'd say it was a rousing success. Glad to hear it then. Remember, you only have the beta version, but I'll update it to the full release eventually. Once the full version is out, there will be even more players you can challenge. It made me glad if you played with as many people as you could. I don't think I'll take this line down, but my revenge someday. <laughs> I hope you go easy on me. Anyway, thanks again for your help today. I'm sure we both have other jobs to get to, so I'll let you go now. You're welcome. Please contact us if you ever need our help again. Will do. Bye, guys. Phew, I'd say that went well. Good job, Lloyd. Certainly a request befitting Chief Roberts. <laughs> I know, right? Sounds like we can play that game whenever we want now. Are you going to aim to become Crossbell's Pom Master? I have a strong hunch Tyr will hold that title. Still, it might be fun to get some practice in while I'm taking a break from work. Yeah, that does sound fun. Finally got to play it. Right, let's hand in these requests then. Bonus dupe. I think right where some of this bonus dupe came from. Oh, in for ah, oh, perfect. 
お疲れ様でしたまたよろしくお願いします Thank you very much, friend Right, so let's end this part here because in terms of requests, we're done So in the next part, we'll carry on with the story for a bit Not half an hour?